Give us a chance to say hello to all of our friends in Sao Paulo at Sky B1. To Telcom in Jakarta, Slamat Pagi. I hope I'm saying that right. Very early morning to you. ATT Direct TV in Los Angeles. Hi to the Airbus Defense and Space and the Thales Alenia Space teams in Europe, as well as Toulouse for the community of Ariane cities. Locally, hello to the Kourou Cinema and Cayenne sites here in French Guiana. And hi to all of our industrial partners, ISA and CNES, and to all of you following on the internet. We hope you are enjoying it. We're going to cut away, let you listen to the DDO as he calls out the final seconds. Watch for the cryo arms to open at minus five seconds. That sets at the initial the DDO, sequence attention rolling. For le final. final countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage UAP, décollage. Schedule at 18.39 local, Ariane 5 beginning her mission, lifting off perfectly and beautifully from the ground here in French Guiana with a lot Tous of fire les à bord sont streaking through the clouds as the DDO says all is well on board, beginning her mission, the second for Ariane space this year, with two new telecom satellites for major regional operators. The two boosters are now providing 90, that's 9.0 percent of the thrust, propelling the launcher along her trajectory at an ever higher velocity. 775 tons is our mass at liftoff. She's burning 5 tons of fuel per second, 2.5 tons in each booster burning per second, and the core stage burning another 300 kilos every second. Ariane 5 is now following the program and the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we will soon see. We're in the first of four flight phases. We'll be describing each in turn and in detail, so you can follow Ariane as she heads east across the Atlantic. Right now, the Tous first flight phase, the single Vulcan core stage engine and the two boosters burning together. The boosters will burn their 240 tons in just over two minutes, and they're the first to be extinguished. You'll hear the DDO call out that milestone in about 20 seconds. We are 15 kilometers from the pad here, but even here you can feel the sensation of liftoff. If you're watching from the closest viewing station, less than four, five kilometers from the pad, you can really hear the noise and see the light. And you probably will be able to see the burnout of the boosters that Looks like the burnout of the boosters right there. Pick up on the camera. Separation des étages, accélération imprudente. DDO confirms it. You see the two orange points of light falling away on either side, and the white light in the middle. That's the core stage burning. The boosters give you an idea what it looks like. Fall uh, 500 kilometers from shore La in a protected area. Nominal. There's a second booster out of camera range on the left, of course. French Guiana was in part chosen as a base for its opening on the water. We'll have a little more on that subject later on. For now, on the bottom of your screen on the left, our altitude approaching 100 kilometers. On the right, our speed, two kilometers per second. The speed we need for satellite separation, roughly nine kilometers per second. So keep your eyes on the numbers. And when we near the region of eight or nine kilometers per second, you'll know we are getting close to satellite separation. There is fairing separation right on time, revealing to the elements the blue part is the our first passenger. Separation de la coiffe. Sky Brazil 1. Separation is of the fairing is given by two pyrotechnic systems, one horizontal and one vertical. Again, what it looks like up there. The other half is out of camera range on the right. We can separate the fairing now because we're out of the dense layers of the atmosphere at over 100 kilometers up. There's neither friction nor heating which could disturb the passengers, and we also discard any dead weight whenever possible to maximize performance. 
The fairing weighs almost two and a half tons, so we can get rid of it now. Début de la manoeuvre en roulis. We're into the second powered flight phase. The boosters have done their work. Only the single lower stage engine still burning now. It'll burn for about nine minutes in all. Our speed is important now, and that's the role of the main stage. Cryogenic propellant is not only highly efficient, but provides a push that can last for a long time. You have noticed that there are different propulsion systems on Ariane 5. Cryogenics, as used in the main stage, are more efficient than solid propellant, which is used in the boosters. Basically speaking, solids are for getting us off the ground, away from the pull of the Earth, while cryogenics are for more precision orienting of a vehicle. And of course, they can also allow a stage to be reignited in another version of Ariane 5.